piano player, he was there to all of them, but none of them now get shot. Sure, right. You know, because like I said, everybody bolted from the right, bathroom right. and went flat on the so floor. Who could hold anything? So when the dude pushed the gun through the window and mm -hmm. our open fire, I was just sh shooting over most of them heads. Mm. Yeah, but it was a very, very pleasing event. Right. And Bob still did a show, you know. Right. That's right. Although he has injured but although it was too much of a serious injury but yeah. he still did the show the Sunday. Yes. What well, was it like part. after after that event and everybody went to the Strawberry Hill and the whole chaos yeah. after that? Yeah, Strawberry yeah. Hill the brother did bring the boots no? Okay. Up to Strawberry they brought it in. You know? Okay. But going back down and uh, you said the helicopters are involved and you know Bob looked at you for ask you what you think and how you know? Mm. Yeah, because they were going to have a helicopter flying over our heads, mm -hmm. right? Police, and then now we were in the vehicle, Bob, myself, and two security, one driving and one who was sitting in front of them, and we were behind, traveling behind a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Police feet, you know. Right. All right. right. That's how we went straight down to race course. Okay. I remember I used to live near race course in about oh. five different homes I live in near race course. Okay. Because that was where I learned to play soccer, cricket, right. you know? Right. Course. So when you got down to race course now and he saw the crowd and what was Bob like? Cause I'm assuming you was right there beside him. Yeah man, I'm most happy that people still come because I say it was book all over the island that he had gone shot. Right, so, of course. Yeah, so most people think probably it's going to be cancelled. Right. But it wasn't cancelled. And it was like the oh, whole race course full. Mm. Ram. I mean ram, you know. Right. All the years I've been going there, I've never seen it like that. Right. Yeah. Everybody came out to see it. Everybody came out to see it. It was such a nice show. Mm. It was a fantastic show, man. And even with, after just getting shot, and yes. it being exposed to so much people, everything, Bob still fearlessly. That's right. That's right. And we had security on stage, too. Mm. You know? No, I tell you, man, it was really a great performance. Yeah. Really and truly a great performance. Everybody enjoyed himself. Yeah. So, what happened after that? What was the after aftermath after that? Yeah, well, that was the Sunday. You know, the shooting was the Friday. Mm -hmm. After that, it's like. Well, like I said, the dude came up to where Bob was. Right. Because that's where he was staying for a while. Right. Right? right. Strawberry. Because it was Chris Blackwell home, you know. Mm hmm That's where he was staying. But and he was there for a while. And then you hear he flew out the next day? Did he never fly out? No, well, he got the thing stuck in him before. Right. But I'm saying after that shooting incident. Yeah, well, not even so much a shooting incident. The thing where you really have to realize mm. that it was after the shooting incident, the dude brought that thing with the boots and he put it on and it got stuck him in the stove. Mm -hmm. Because that is what became the eventual after incident of significance. Right. Because that is where the cancer developed. Right. In that same toe. That's oh. right. Because he went on a tour after now. You know? Right. That is when the store keep giving him problem and everything and by the time the tour ended he had grade three melanoma. That's why I know, you know, that it was more than likely something actually instituted because a tumor don't grow to grade three or, or develop to grade three normally so quickly. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And he's developed in that short period that when by the time he finished the tour 
and went to London. The Royal College of Surgeons was saying that they wanted to remove the leg, right. amputate the leg, but they want to do a disarticulation from up in the hip. Right. That means they were going to remove the entire leg. Now they that to tells you right away right. that's a threat against his entire career. Exactly. Because Bob with one leg mm -hmm. is not going to be the same person on stage. Right. You know? So Absolutely. that means they're going to definitely threaten his performance level. Mm. Because by that time they're definitely saying all right, that Bob is changing the world. Yes. All right. So when we went to London, and they said they're going to take off this the leg, the right leg, from the hip. Bob told them, no, he didn't want nobody to touch him until he saw his doctors. Personal. And who's your personal doctor, mm -hmm. Mr. Marley? Pee Wee, Dr. Pee Wee Fraser. Dr. Pee Wee Fraser. That's right. Right. So now he came to Florida, and I flew up from St. Anne's Bay. At that time, I was in St. Anne's Bay. Okay. I seen a registrar and so. And that's where we had everything sorted out. Because why we went to Florida, or came to Florida, was because the doctor there, he was the one who had done the operation on Don Taylor. The manager, when he stepped across and picked up the bullet and got paralyzed, mm -hmm. he was the same doctor. Right. Now, when I said, what are you going to do for Bob? And he said he's going to do a baloney amputation. So I said to him, the doctors in London, they're saying they wanted to do a disarticulation of the hip or from the hip and take off the left lower extremity completely. Why are you only doing an amputation below the knee? Up to now he hasn't 